looking back, because I'm, in, I'm going to be 80 soon enough if, if, God, if I survive, but the thing is, growing up in Cork was so different because we were poor, and, and we lived in a two-up, two-down, uh, with an outside toilet. I was 14 before I saw running water in the house. I was running cold water. I didn't see running hot water until I left school and came to Dublin. So, like, that was poor, you know? And I had this extraordinary parents, like... And I think if you talk to anybody, good, bad, or indifferent, the parents are involved there somehow, you know, either for good or bad. And I had these extraordinary parents, like, God. I mean, it's emotional for me even now because, like, I treated them badly in their old age. And, and, and um, you know, I not a day passes that, I don't think of my parents, not a day. And I don't think about how badly I treated them. You know, I was, I was trying to run a business. I was trying to keep a family together. I was going bust. I was doing all this stuff. So my parents kind of slipped, you know, in my mind. But you can't do that. And I did. Like, I, I was a terrible son like, to these two people. And... and uh, you know, and that's then when I left school, like, we, she she got so far and she just couldn't raise the money for university. And came to Dublin, then went to London and saved money and came back. And I went third level when I was 21. Then I went into business on my own. I was a great salesman, but a terrible businessman. And, like, I wasted then the next 30 years, you know, running a business, like a huge business. I employed 1,500 people. I did all the biggest catering events in the country and lost a fortune, finished up in debt, everything. The single most important thing is whatever you do, do what you want to do, not what people tell you to do. Because that fatal career decision to go into business almost ruined my life. I mean, it, it, it sent me to the end of Dunleary Pier one night, taking my clothes off and, and you know, going to dive in, end my life. To this day, I don't know why I stopped, but I did. I don't think I had a successful day in business. Like, over 30 years, I never a successful day in business. You might well ask, well, how did you keep it going? Well, I kept it going by borrowing more money. I kept it going by fiddling the books, you know, not paying the VAT or not paying the tax. And when I look back at it, like, it was just, just a complete waste of my life, like 30 years of wasting my life, you know? I spent the guts of six months a year in America coaching rugby. I didn't really make much money, but I had a job, you know. For five years, I could at least pretend to myself that I had a job. But, like, damage it was doing, you know. Like, I had a wife, I had children, you know, and I'm irresponsibly heading off to America for six months a year. Um, like... I, I tell you, I, I look back and I just think, how the hell, like, did I survive, you know? And, and I just don't know. I mean, I just, I just robbed Peter to pay Paul. I, I let friends down. I, I let my family down. I let my parents down. I did everything wrong. And then I'm... I'm 54 years of age, and I'm in South Africa for the World Cup. And Orti rang me up and said, would I do two minutes on, on the Ireland-Wales game at Ellis Park? And suddenly, you know, I got a start. And, and I remember 25 quid an appearance, you know, so... But that was huge to me, like, I'd be bankrupt for 30 years, and then suddenly somebody's going to give me 25 quid a week, like, I couldn't believe it. Like, it was very important with Ingrid, the way she saw me, like, she'd she'd been married to a failure all those years. And why, why do you think you were a failure, though? Because well, it like was, it's you see. To succeed, or was it well, I mean, you can't... Else? think you're anything but a failure. If you run a business for 30 years and, and it's bankrupt, if, if you let your parents down, 
enormously in their, last, in their final years, then you're a failure. If, if my life had ended in South Africa in 1995, it would have just, there wouldn't have been a single positive sort of note. I don't think you could have found a single positive in, in the previous 30 years. Like my life, my effective life started in South Africa in 1995. My life started at age 54.